I apologize, were you not expecting that? Uh, not exactly. Let me just fix the camera here. All right, Penny, first, thanks for doing this interview. Of course, it's no problem at all. As you know, we'd like you to talk about your Camp New experience this past fall. Yes, I knew it. Uh, okay, maybe you could just start by telling us a little about Camp New. Okay, well, Camp New is something that we do every year. We are a creative arts camp that teaches kids that their gifts were given to them by the Lord and that they should use them for Him. Our camp motto is Daniel 1132. The kid that knows their God will be strong and do great things. That's great. Tell us about the first day at this year's camp. Well, it was mostly about getting things set up and symbols. Wow. Those symbols are radtastic. Nice. How's everything going? Uh, I don't speak symbols, so... Oh, yes, I forgot. Don't be concerned. I'll get back into the flow of camp again. Right. Well, I have a ribbon cutting ceremony to attend. Welcome back to Camp Penelope. Well, that went better than expected. Penny! 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 Ah! Ah! Oh. Oh. Well, Kenzie sure is running late. No shoes. You have shoes on. Listen, I don't make the rules. Miss Mo, you're actually very much in charge. Shh, child, there is no need to mention my royalty. I'm very aware of the status I hold. Again, girls, I do apologize for the inconvenience. At least we know 99.9% .9 of your eyes are germ-free. <laughs> Well, moving on. Here's a list of rules for the girls' cabin. Rules? Rules are good, Marcy. Rule number one, don't hit or throw a fit. Rule number two, share because you care. Rule number three, be on time or walk in slime. Rule number four, give Judah treats and rub his feet. Rule number five, have fun or be stupid. Hi, I'm Artrace. <laughs> well, Artrace thinks he's a pretty cool guy too. It's nice to meet someone who sees me for what I am. <laughs> yeah, well, I'd like to say I was born this way, but I like to think that I made myself into what I am today. Yeah, well, I'll see you around too. Off to find my cabin. So I'm guessing the couch is mine? No. 
I get a bunk? No, the floor. Miss Mo. Queen Mo. Too far. And why don't I get a bunk? Well, Kenzie, since you were running late and missed the ribbon cutting ceremony. The, the ribbon cutting? Thank you for coming. I will now cut the ribbon. Yes, you miss first dibs on it all. I have reserved the top bunk for when I need a good place to think. And the bottom is, of course, for beauty sleep. And the couch is for visitors. We don't have visitors. Well, I guess we need to use our faith. What time is the opening ceremony tonight? 7.15. Not 7.30. I like to be 15 minutes early. Remember, be on time or walk- Walk in slime, yeah. I know. Oh, and I think this is a formal event. This is formal. Formally awesome. No, no, you're messing up the whole look of the, the dwelling. I'm pretty positive I can't be in front of the door. That's a fire code. Fire has code? Well, yeah. Well, no, I can't be in front of the exit. Such temper, Mackenzie. Do we need to talk about something? No, I don't need to talk. It's, I'll sleep under the table. Oh, ow. Miss Mo, can you hand me my pillow? Oh, I just remembered I have some last minute things to take care of before tonight's ceremony. Hey, bro. Wow. Bro. I don't think I've ever gotten a bro before. Closest time was when Izzy punched me in flag football. All right, Isabel. Not trying to be rude or anything, but you did score the touchdown in your own end zone. Sure about that, bro? Yeah. No. Whoa. Bro. Your sister beat you up? No, well, I mean, like, yeah, technically, but I uh, couldn't hit a girl. What's your name again? Archer. Ace. Well, uh, I'm Hank, but I can call you bro. No, I said Archer Ace. Tank. Nah, no, Hank. Hank. Uh, Hank Banks. Yeah, that's what I said. Bank tanks. I like your boat shoes. Why do you have your feet on my rail? And what are you doing here? Archer Ace needs to ask you a question. Well, where is this Archer Ace? Uh, I am Archer Ace. Well, Archer Ace, just because you're a volunteer doesn't mean you can put your feet on Miss Moe's rail. Wait. Archer Ace needs to be paid to put his feet on your rail? Archer Ace had no idea. If you're Archer Ace, why do you keep saying Archer Ace? Huh? Archer Ace doesn't do that. But, Grammy Mo. Call me Grammy Mo one more time and you'll be cleaning the bottom of the pool. You wouldn't do that to Archer Ace. It would mess up his hair. Yes! Do you have any sandwich cookies?
Good afternoon, ladies. It's Paige and Olive, correct? I'm Archer Ace. I'm with the International Camp New Important Questionnaire Group. You may know us as Iknik Ga. What? May I ask you a few questions? Uh, okay. Iknik Ga have received reports of a stash of sandwich cookies somewhere around the camp. Would either of you happen to know anything about that? Yeppers, there sure is. Well, I, <clears throat> I mean, we were wondering if you would help us get some for the boys' cabin. Why are you asking me? Because I, I mean, we know that we can count on you to help the boys out this year. Both of you will be properly compensated for your assistance. What? I'm not going to do it. What? But I'm Archer Ace. I don't know what Archer Ace is, but I'm not going to do it. Hmm. Well, in an effort of full disclosure, this denial of service may end up looking negatively on your Camp New Urine report. What? I don't think we've met. I'm Archer Ace. I'm with the International Camp New Important Questionnaire Group. We were wondering if we could ask you a few questions. This isn't my first rodeo, dude. I know there's no such thing as the International Camp New Important Questionnaire Group. I'm in no way a cowboy. Hello, camp coordinators. Welcome to our opening ceremony. I hope everyone's gotten settled into their cabins. I know Kenzie's happy. We'll be ending this year's camp with an amazing fall bonanza. Miss Mo? Miss Mo! Penny, you're distracting me. Kenzie has a question. Couldn't you tell that? No. Do you have a question? Can I throw the symbols away? Moving on. Uh... It may have not seemed like much of a start, but we were beginning to learn what 1 Corinthians 1.13 was saying. If we didn't have love, we were not going to be anything more than clanging symbols. Loving each other keeps us focused on Jesus. After all, if we aren't loving Him, we aren't honoring Him. Because the Bible says God is love, and our faith works through love. We can have faith to move mountains, or we can think we're really awesome in giving, but if we haven't loved, it means nothing. We are beginning to understand what it meant in 1 John 4.8, where it says those who know God love, because he's the very essence of love himself. So this year's camp experience was about learning to get along? Well, that and more. Is it okay if I just pick up where I left off? That sounds great. Okay, so it was after the camp coordinator's opening ceremony, and we all headed back to our cabins for a good night's sleep. I know I didn't waste any time. Hey Marcy, you awake? Shh, loud face, who taught you how to whisper? It's the earplugs. <sighs> Izzy, go to bed. I'm done with your excuses. What? I'm not inclusive? Mackenzie, did you cough? I did. Sometimes humans do that. No, they don't. Only burglars do. That's why I installed the cough light. The clap lights are too basic. Yeah, basic. Where are you going? Archeris is going to bed. Yeah, okay, but what are you doing? Archeris heard rumors today, Hank. Rumors that pranksters now abound. Preparation is a must. 
All right, but uh, what about your hair? It's not covered. Don't be silly, Hank. Our tray still needs to look good. Lights out. What have you done to Artrace? It wasn't me. Artrace putting his shoes on. Yeah, I can see that. I am too. Oh, you better double knot those things, Hank Banks. Oh, I intend to. Don't you worry about it. Good. Good. Artrace would hate to see you trip and fall. I'll be fine. I'm very sure-footed. Hunter Ace is going to get you. It wasn't me, bro. Bro? No, you just didn't. <laughs> oh, I am so excited. Welcome to our first Camp New Coordinators meeting. I want to go over the agenda for today, but first, Penny. You said you had something to say. Yes. I noticed a certain one of you having trouble with patients, mostly in the children's ministry department. This trash is so trashy, it makes bad trash look good. This person will remain anonymous. It was Miss Mo. I would also like to announce my culinary endeavor for this year, fish. Izzy and Marcy, you're on fish duty. I know you'll have a real fun time. <laughs> Thank you, Penny. You're always such a delight. The main elective for the kids today is knitting hot pads here at the art cabin. Let's walk in love today and not think you're better than someone else. Speaking of which, where is Archer and Hank? It wasn't me! Archer Ace will get you! Oh, I see, they're playing tag. Time to pay the piper. Where'd you get a feather duster? Hey, whoa, 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 wait. Why should Artrace wait? Because you've got the wrong guy. Why should Artrace believe you? Because Artrace is a smart guy. That's true. Yeah, and Artrace knows you don't try to prank someone you're sharing a cabin with. It's a little too easy to, you know, return the favor. <laughs> yeah. Artrace knew that all along. Just wanted to uh, teach you a lesson. There is trash all up in this camp. I think you may be making a mountain out of a molehill. What? Yes. So I'm an ant? No. Mountains, molehills, anthills. No, I said you're making a mountain out of a molehill. 
So now I'm a mole. I despise fishing. I love fishing. Why, you despise water. When did I ever say I despised water? Ever. Hey, don't push You me. spout off your mouth too much and you need to have a little more self-control. We should fry you instead of the fish. Once again. Penny, this has got to stop. You need to get the camp crew organized immediately. I don't want to find messes like this again. After all, we have ecology to think about. We are gonna find the trash. You got that? And when we find the trash, we're gonna throw it in the trash. This is what trash looks like, soldiers. You got that? I said, do you find that, soldiers? Yes, ma'am! just dusty out here, that's all. It's not like Archer Ace would cry about his hair or anything. I mean, you really are a great friend. I feel like you're the only person at this camp that connects with Archer Ace on an intellectual level. So dusty. <laughs> what? Hey, Judah. How's it going? What have we got here? Oh, Judah, you should not have pranked our trace. I'm just saying, we've got this all under control, Miss Mel. Right. And that's why everything is such a mess. Do you see this? This is a molehill. There's no need to make a mountain out of it. There you go again with all the ants and mole stuff. Some people. One of the fruits of the spirit is patience, Mo. Do you think you may be showing a little impatience? Impatience? You think you can make up for all this now by calling me a flower? Galatians 5, 22 through 24 says, but the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. It says that those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. Everyone was learning how things get pretty stirred up when everyone focuses on something other than God's fruit. This year we all began realizing how much the fruit of our flesh produces strife, pride, and complication. With all the things like the candy wrappers, the camp antics, Archer's pride rising, things were getting pretty messy. Miss Mo even had to learn a lesson about patience. Maybe it was flowers. 
I don't know. I just know all the camp coordinators had a lot to learn about the fruit of the spirit. And yeah, myself included. So you're saying you had a lot to learn. Well, I think everybody did, but I can tell you one thing. Things around camp started to get a little fishy. <laughs> well, perhaps I should explain. It all started at the camp coordinator's morning meeting. First announcement, people. Something stinks. If it's you, please raise your hands at this time. No volunteers, huh? Everyone just raise your hands then and we'll find out who it is. <sighs> Second announcement. Don't forget about our fall bonanza coming up. The leaves may be falling, but... The leaves may be falling, but... Yes, I just said that, Marsha. Please, don't waste time. Final announcement. We will be having a sock making contest today. Um, Miss Mo, how do I make socks? Isabel, I'm going to pretend you didn't just ask me how you do something. You should know, I respect your privacy. I know what you're all thinking. This hat is quite the catch. <laughs> well, as Creative Arts Director, I have decided to have a fall extravaganza catered by me and Bubbles here. Everyone is going to have to get on board a fish every day from here on out. Worms for everyone! Ah! That's the spirit, everyone. Ah! Ismail, what are you doing? Don't you have the luxury model cabin? I had to get away from that awful stink. Where? At my cabin. I think it's Kenzie. It has to be Kenzie. I think it's her feet. I don't know, it's all very fishy. Well, I know it's not the fish. I wasn't talking about fish. I was talking about my cabin. These are for everyone's noses. This is for the fall extravaganza. <laughs> and then he was like, ah! And then you were like, ah! <laughs> wow, it was so funny. <laughs> it really was. <laughs> How many more fall extravaganza invitations do you have to pass out? 10. This extravaganza is gonna be a flop. I think it'll be a catch, especially with your fish whispering skills. I apologize. It's fine. Catch anything yet? 
Just some shoes, a basketball, a turtle, a golf cart. But no fish? Not yet. What are you doing over there? Oh, I am fluent in fish. The hardest one to speak is definitely tuna. You really have to be able to submerse yourself in the culture. Wanna hear? Yeah, sure. Okay, so we'll start out with the best friend tuna call. Go something like, yeah, so we're gonna move on to the praise the Lord tuna. So we're gonna do something like, Ma. Ma. yeah, that was good. Then we'd go with the piers, which I still haven't nailed this one, but I think it goes ba, ba, ba. Bo. Yeah. I used to have a really bad underbite, mm -hmm. so like my lower jaw just never really recovered. I wonder if tuna's out underbites like that. Maybe. Wouldn't put it past them. I thought you didn't like knee high socks. That's only when they're pink and it's Wednesday. So you like every other color knee sock on other days? No, it's not that simple. Well, I'm complicated. You know, if you left earlier, you wouldn't make things so complicated. You're the one making things complicated, coming in and making fashion demands like you own the place. I wasn't making fashion demands. And if I really told you what I thought about your clothes, you'd be crying. I don't have time for this. I have to go to the sock making competition. You never have time for anything important. I think you should check your list of important things to see if this counts as one of them. I will. What evidence did you find, girls? We think it's your feet, Miss Mo. It's gotta be your feet for sure. I've been scrubbing my feet all afternoon. It is not my feet. Today we are learning about feet. No, not about your feet, but about walking. Stop walking. Stop walking around. Whoa. Whew. Something stinks. I'm going to check this out. Guys, just keep walking. That's good. So how much are you lifting these days? I didn't notice you. I was captivated by myself. I could tell. How many invitations have you passed out today? Fall extravaganza. Fall extravaganza. Arch Race invites you to the Camp New Fall Extravaganza. Arch Race invites you to the Camp New Fall Extravaganza. Archer Ace invites you to the Camp New Fall Extravaganza. Archer Ace would like to invite you to the Camp New Fall Extravaganza. Archer Ace would like to invite you to the Camp New Fall Extravaganza. Um. Right. Well, I noticed you have over 5,000 followers on Instapic, so could you maybe post about it there? Uh, no. My followers are only interested in pictures of me and my lunch. Could you at least pass out some invitations? Don't be concerned. Archer Ace is in charge. That is my concern.
Our trace would like to invite you to the Camp New Fall Extravaganza. Well, of course, Archer Ace will be there. On an entirely different note, Archer Ace is with the International Camp New Important Questionnaire Group. You may know us as Iknik Guh. We were wondering if you knew the whereabouts of the camp sandwich cookies. Hmm. Well, I'm not sure that the wooden bear privilege law prohibits you from telling me what you know, but I'll have to take your word for it. Okay, everybody, let's look at the foot. How I drew this circle was in a circular way. Come in, Penelope. We have zero RSVPs for the fall extravaganza. Fall bonanza, Penelope. Yeah, fall extravaganza. Oh, and we have solved the stench. <laughs> it's Mackenzie, I know. That's why I fired her. No, 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 no. It wasn't Kinsey, it was Judah. He was hiding shoes under your cabin. Oh, that pesky hamster of yours. He's a... He's a dog. Well, I suppose I better call Kinsey. I never left. Well, there you go. Oh, and Penelope. Give your hamster a bath. You know, there can be a lot of stink happening, especially when so much pride and selfishness can get in the way. That's including the stinky attitude I ended up having to change at camp too. I know that's why the Lord tells us in 1 Corinthians 13, four through eight, love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. It does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, and it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. Love never fails. I came to realize even more through my camp experiences how important it is to walk in love, especially since love never fails. It's important that we always shod our feet in the gospel of peace, because if we don't, things can get pretty stinky. <laughs> and cut. That's the end of segment three. Okay. Well, that's a nice hat. Thanks. So everyone got along the rest of the time? Well, I think we all still had a lot more to learn. I mean, I got some stuff in my head about the camp extravaganza, and that did not help with my attitude at all. I was learning a lot more about the fruit of the spirit and just how much we weren't producing it. Miss Mo, she even had to learn a lesson about being who she was called to be, and not something that she wasn't. She thought she was some kind of master clay artist. I think I found my gifting. Matter of fact, I'm sure of it. How's that? Just look around. Mm-hmm. I'm so good at clay art. Just imagine it with me for a moment. Professor of Pottery, Monique Fouzé. Well, I think that we better keep in step with the spirit, like the Bible says. You're already great at what you do for the camp. But I need to be crafty, like everyone else. But nobody else could do what you do. Which is why we need to discuss the fall extravaganza. You mean bonanza.
are you doing? Our Therese needs you to help with the experience of a lifetime. What? Our Therese is planning a rigorous competition. Yeah? And our Therese needs a dignified, distinguished, and decorous opponent. Yeah. And you? You will be our Therese's trainer. No! Leave the fish fry out of it! Food, 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 food! That's all you ever think about! Extravaganza sounds way less like a food party than bonanza! How? Banana? That's fruit! Fruit is food! I beg to differ! You don't have to beg! You are differing! Ha 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 ha! Differing isn't a word, Penelope! Kinsey, look it up. Here it is. The definition of childish, of, like, or appropriate to a child, silly and immature. Can you use the word in a sentence? Yes. It is childish when two adults fight over what to call a party. Good. Use your fancy book to see if fruit is a food. Don't do it, Kinsey. Don't do it. I know how this can be fixed. Aren't you going to ask me? No. no. A simple pinata contest. A or B? A or B? Well, Judah isn't a person. It's our choice. Where Judah is dignified and distinguished, Penny is decorous. Then go with Judah. Penny it is. Our trace knew we could count on you. No, Miss Mo. 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 Penny, my symbols. We voted on the bell, Miss Mo. But we don't vote. We want the bell. We want the bell. Yeah. We want the bell. Attention, camp coordinators. If the bell gets these results, I'll give you the bell. I want to show you the amazing pottery designs I've made in honor of each of you. Miss Mo, they're gone. What? Gone? Dun. Yes. Dun -dun. Dun -dun. Someone's stolen my amazing pottery. That just tells how good they are. Izzy and Marcy, find out who did this. Get on it. Yes, yes Miss Mo. Miss Mo made some pottery. Then it disappeared. It's gone. Marcy and Izzy are on the case. Can't do have no fear. No fear. They're gone. Do, do, do. Do, 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 Confront a voice. Check. Can you think of anything else? Soft box? Yeah. Nine, 10, 11, 12. <laughs> oh! Oh, what? I'm so done being pulled around. Stop your complaining. Isabel? Ouch! We will be asking the questions. What is this even for? All right, fine, no questions. We notice you're interested in pottery. No, I'm not. I'm not. Fine, go ahead. Oh, so you do like pottery. Next question. Where were you this morning? The camp counselor meeting. And after that? A jog. And after that? Lunch. Mm-hmm. 
What did you eat? Nachos. Hmm. So you don't naturally smell like spicy cheese dip. Good to know. Five thousand! And done. Now time for a selfie. Bonanza! Extravaganza! Bonanza! Extravaganza! Bonanza! Penny, wake up! Does anyone have a snack? No, don't eat that! Where were you during today's coordinator meeting? Front right, reserve seating. Something people like you wouldn't understand. Don't care. And after that? Skydiving. You have to have a license for that. Look again. And after that? some recreational ping pong with the dog that I have. What about before the meeting? I was in a, and I quote, childish fight with Miss Mo. We're gonna have to see if this lines up with the facts and your fingerprints. <laughs> I am as innocent as an unbuttered piece of toast. Not available? Hello? Yes, Kenzie. We'd like to ask you a couple questions. Okay. Where were you this morning? Um, I had to finish up some last minute paperwork. And by paperwork, you mean you were breaking the law? No, I mean paperwork. That's what they all say. And after that? I dropped off some snacks for Judah. So it's his word against yours? Bonanza! Extravaganza! Bonanza! Extravaganza! Bonanza! Extravaganza! Bonanza! Extravaganza! Bonanza! dog. Where were you this morning? So it was Penny. Izzy, Penny said she played ping pong. So it was Judah. Keep talking. Mo? Go away! But I have your pottery. Oh, my delicate pottery! Where were they? Well... Judah! He... That's good enough. Want to see your customized pottery? Of course. Is this an insult? So walking and keeping in step with God is important in our lives. That takes faith, humility, and getting along so we can do what he's called us to do. We do that because we're living by his spirit. Galatians 5, 25 through 26 says, since we live by the spirit, let us keep in step with the spirit. Let us not become conceited, provoking, and envying each other. We gotta stay in step with the word and the Holy Spirit. We for sure don't need to be jealous of others or their gifts. God has called us to be specifically what he wants us to be. There's no reason to be anybody else but you because nobody else can be you. Now, I heard something about a rather intense competition. Uh, could you tell us about that? Yes, the competition. 
Archer Ace came to me the day before and challenged me to what he called a duel of athleticism. Being one to never shy away from a challenge, I accepted. He chose Hank as his trainer, so naturally, I chose Judah. Whoever lost was gonna get a whipped cream pie to the face. Miss Mo bought way too much whipped cream, so I indulged. Save me for Miss Mo. Miss Mo told me to tell you, and I quote, Oh Mackenzie, this could be the end of Camp New. Penny must stop now. Just tell Miss Mo I know what I'm doing. All right, girls, you have officially been promoted to Camp New Special Agents. That's right. Without you, there will be no whipped cream left for the competition loser. What do we do? In front of you, you'll find a necktie and sunglasses. They must be worn at all times so that you're not recognized. May I tie up Penny so she doesn't eat any more whipped cream? No. May I hide all the whipped cream? No, this mission is reconnaissance only. You're only to follow Penny through the camp and count how many whipped cream containers she has emptied. What can I do for you? Yeah, I think I can do it. If you do something for me, sort of like I scratch your back, you scratch mine. No, yeah, yeah, it was, it was funny in my head. Um, anyway, could you make Archer's mirror disappear? I like this, by the way. Very sleek. Stylish. Yeah, no, I'll let you. Ready? So ready. Here. I got you this. Shouldn't it say Team Archer and Hank? What? Archer and Hank? Like your name on the back, too? Oh, of course not. Why would it? Oh, why would it? <laughs> Of course not. Oh, that's, that's funny. Oh, that was the funniest joke that Archer Ace has ever heard. Oh, so, Mr. Trainer, where do you say we begin? Let's do warm-ups. Wait, it is.
Archer Ace is so fit. All right, I guess that's 100. Well, Hank, you done good, but Archer Ace did gooder. You mean better? That too. All right, well, are you done training? What do you think, coach? We should probably take another 100 reps. Sounds good, let's take a break. <sighs> Okay, what are you girls doing? I'm too overwhelmed to say. 100 cans? There's gotta be a Miss Mo fit. I've got a plan, and I think you girls will like it. Well, we are the camp Miss Special Agents. Perfect, I need some special agents. Finally, I found you. What is it? Penny says, and I quote, I know what I'm doing. Uh-huh, well, so do I. You tell Penny, write this down. You tell Penny that the next time she thinks she knows what she's doing, to check again, because something bigger is headed her way. And if she thinks that she can even get away with stealing my secretary. Wait, who's your secretary? You, you've been promoted. Now, keep writing. Penny, Miss Mo told me to tell you, and I quote, you tell Penny, write this down, you tell Penny that the next time she thinks she knows what she's doing to check again, because something bigger is headed her way. And if she even thinks that she can get away with stealing my secretary, to check again. That's a lot of checking. <sighs> okay, I'll tell her. <laughs> Whoa, 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 Archer, 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 what happened? Huh? Archer, I just can't find his mirror. I have it with me everywhere I go. Yeah, okay. Can't you find it after the competition? <gasps> Archer Ace isn't sure he can compete without it. Why do you have 12 combs? No, no, no. What's the point if I can't see my hair? Is that pizza? I left an hour ago. I know. And chili, you have chili fries in here. What? Is that pizza on the ceiling? And I quote, that's a lot of checking. You tell her the next time she thinks checking is a big deal, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna. Be upset? That's good, read it back to me. You tell her the next time she thinks checking is a big deal, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna be upset. Cut the I'm gonna, it makes it sound like I don't know what I'm saying. I quit. And just to clarify, I quit being the carrier pigeon and the promotion of secretary. Arch, we have to go. We have to go. Look at what time it is. That's it? Your watch? It's reflective. Can I use it as a mirror? Just for this? Yes, let's just go. Oh, that was close. Archer Ace almost forgot what his face looked like. Yeah, because that would have been unspeakable.
All right, attention competitors. Before we get started today, oh, I just wanted Hank. to give a few words of encouraging Hank. advice. Hank! Archer Race has prepared an opening statement. Let's go ahead and read through that. You no, know I'm actually not surprised. No, oh, brother. Hank, do not call me bro. Archer Ace wrote this. I did put that in there. What? Hank, read the statement. Much like the historic duels of old, most notably the duels that featured future presidents, this duel here, created by Archer Archibald Ace, will feature a future president. To make this clear, Archer Ace will be the president of the United States. You can go ahead and keep going. No, I don't think I will. There's a lot more. Yeah, I can see that there's an asterisk that says page one of 508. And yeah, we're not going to get to all that if you don't read it. There's a list of related readings at the bottom. I felt that they were important to understand where I was coming from. And I don't think I want to do that right now. I don't have a laptop on me. Just read the rest, please. Not this time. Fine, we'll read it later. Continue. All right. Long and short of it is, it's a huge circle. You guys are going to run, do challenges and activities along the way. End up back here. Simple enough? All right. On your mark. Get set. Go! Someone's gonna get a pie to the face, and it won't be Archer Ace. Archer, watch out, pride goes before them.
welcome to another night of fun. I hope everyone had a good time at today's competition. I heard there were some ups and some downs, which brings me to my next point, humble pie. Pie to the face. No. Pie, pie to the this face. This really isn't necessary. Pie to the face. Pie to we the face. To. I lost it. <laughs> mirror. Mirror. I need a mirror. Who's ready for s'mores? Yes. It's amazing that the Bible says God resists the proud. After doing so much at our ratastic camp, we were learning pride can't satisfy. It says in 1 Peter 5, 5, in the same way, you who are younger, submit to your elders. All of you, clothe yourselves with humility toward one another, because God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. For me, I was learning that seeing your leader with the right attitude was one of God's designs in humility and that it is His plan to give us grace as we surrender our pride and attitudes out of the way. And there's a definite lesson for Archer Ace to learn there, and that is pride cannot be our forte. And one day, I'll for sure be able to say, very humbly, that I beat the President of the United States in a duel of athleticism. That being said, Camp New was coming to an end and it seemed like it had just started. So if Camp New was nearing an end, that means the fall bonanza was coming up soon, right? The fall extravaganza was coming up, yes. But before we get into that, let me tell you something just because it's funny. For some reason that no one will ever understand, Miss Mo went for a morning jog with all of Camp News money. Children, I have come up with a very fun activity. Not now. The activity is very simple. A treasure hunt. Now, any questions? What are we looking for? Well, I'll give you a hint. It's green and it's a rectangle. It will also most likely have the face of a former U.S. president. Do you mean money? Well, some people do call it that, but if any of the coordinators ask, just say it's treasure. You mean lie? <gasps> hey, Izzy, maybe you should get a little more in tuna with your abilities there. Get it? In tuna? And God said, let there be light to divide the day from the night. Genesis 1.14. Um, and God is my salvation and my glory, Psalm 62.7. Izzy, what's the deal? The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction, Proverbs 1.7. How much does all that fish weigh? Maybe we should ask them because they have their own scale. Vanity is a vanity, saith the preacher, all is vanity. Ecclesiastes 1.2.
Mouse, what are you doing? We're looking for ma mouse treasure. It's just an activity. Uh-huh. Is the treasure edible? Can you eat money? I don't know. Penny, can you eat money? Well, I don't think you should. But what's the treasure? Looking for something? No. No, just taking inventory before camp ends. Mm-hmm. Do you know where liars go? I don't know what to do, Penelope. I lost the rest of the camp's money. Without it, there won't be a bonanza tomorrow. So, what do you have left for the extravaganza? Just gotta get cookies. Wow, you did everything else already? Archer Ace is the fastest you'll ever see. You're so prideful. What have you even learned this year? Archer Ace knows everything already. You think you do. That's Archer Ace's problem. Archer Ace doesn't have any problems. Maybe Archer Ace does. Maybe Archer Ace thinks he's better than everyone. Maybe Archer Ace is nothing but a prideful plum. Archer Ace doesn't cry. <laughs> I want to change. I need to change. But how? Maybe you could start by doing something for someone else, like get the cookies. That's great. Thanks, Kinsey. How's it going? Not well, I take it? It is impossible. There will be no fish fry at the extravaganza. I'm starting to feel like I should help. What do you think? I think that's a great idea. Hey, we agree on something. Penny! Penny! Bacon! You know, Miss Mo, I had the wildest dream. You had lost all the camp money. Oh wait, you did! I understand it being an issue. That's a relief. Why did I even wake you up? That is so rude. Listen, I feel I should apologize for not being truthful about losing the money. I was wrong. While you were taking a nap. I fainted. Right. Napping. I had such a good idea. A ratastic one, as you would say. All right. What is it? A simple fundraiser. Here is my business plan. How long was I out? Archer, this is, this is really cool, man. Thanks. Yeah, I know. Call me bro. 
Bro? Yeah, I figured I needed to do something for you, and that's letting you have the coolest brother ever. Wow. So what's up with you? You seem different. It's probably how humble I am. I'm probably the best in the camp. Look! I even stole these cookies for you. How selfless is that? Archer, I don't think that's how it works. Man, being humble just feels so good. You should try it, Hank. You're so prideful. And it's awesome how easy it is. All right. Well, then, I'm going to take my first step of humility and give these cookies to Penny for the extravaganza. Wow, that's pretty humble. But I can do better. It's not a competition. Or is it? King me. We did it! I told you any sin is possible. God's possibilities always happen when we work together and don't trout. Get it? Trout instead of doubt. But seriously, you're my best friend. You speak for yourself. Hey, so here are the cookies for the extravaganza. Good, thanks. Uh, don't you want to know where we got them? It'll only take a second. Guess I don't have a choice. Go ahead, Hank. Tell her. Well, Archer stole them for me. Pretty humble, right? And then I was humble and gave them back to you. Cool. Who's more humble? Listen, guys, I'm under a little pressure. Miss Mo just lost over $200 somewhere in the camp, and I either have to find it or raise it in the next two hours. So I don't know what's going on here, but just figure it out yourselves. You thinking what I'm thinking? I'll find it first, humbly. I hope you do. And please note, that was a more humble statement. Hey, Hank, I found it. Come here. Oh, wow. I'm so happy for you. Me too. But since I have a handle on this whole being humble thing, I was going to let you look more humble and turn it in. No. Bro, no, you don't have to do that. You found it. No, no, no. You aren't good at anything. You really should take it. All right, Archer, but you found it. I was just a helping hand. Yes, but you need to fix your reputation. Wait, I, I have a bad reputation? Kind of. I mean, I don't like you. You're not humble enough for me. Give me the money. Just, get, just let go. Just let go. Thank you. I was gonna give you the money. Miss Mo, that bell is not in tune. Attention, attention. I want everyone's attention. Since tomorrow is our last day, we are going to have nothing but the best for our big fall bonanza celebration. Aww. It's the big fall extravaganza. Make sure everyone you have everything packed and ready to go. This year has been so much fun and I can't wait until next year. Camp new, camp new, camp new, camp new, camp new, camp new, camp new. So what did the two of you learn at this year's camp? Well, I learned that even if you don't get along with your closest friend all the time, through God, anything is possible. And Marcy likes knee-high socks. No, I don't. I only like them on Wednesday. No, you like every other color on other days. What about you guys? What did you learn? Being humble comes very natural to me. No, I still don't know how you got that idea. Never trust someone who steals cookies for you. What did you learn, Kinsey? Oh man, I forgot the party favors. Hold that thought. Welcome!
Welcome to the Fall Bonanza. I just came for the party favors. They're in the cabin. I just can't figure out where the cookies went. Where is everyone? And the cookies. The extravaganza. The extravaganza. The extravaganza. The extravaganza. Hmm. Doesn't ring a symbol. Well, why don't you come back with me? Uh, maybe it'll ring a bell. Well, okay. After being so divided, we all learned a very valuable lesson this year, especially once we discovered that Miss Moe, me, and all the camp coordinators who fought so much all had the same desire. All the fussing wasn't really worth it. I learned that faith and love work together. We all learned that coming together was better than being apart, and how important it is to live by faith, especially as we believe in Jesus and His power working in us to produce His fruit. Galatians 2.20 says, I have been crucified with Christ, and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I now live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. We all had a lot of fun in spite of ourselves, uh, because of God's goodness, and because his fruit remains forever. So yeah, it's all about Jesus. We definitely learned a fruit-filled lesson of love. So you could say that you discovered that you were the apple of God's eye. Yes. I think we learned that Jesus' love lifts us up to live by faith, especially because of what he's done for us, especially for me. Without God's love, we are nothing but a clinging symbol, and we all found out those are pretty annoying. We realized the fruit of his spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control, and that his fruit manifests in us through love. We experienced God's love and found he was patient and kind, especially with each of us. That means we can be that way too. At Camp New, we realize we have the power to walk by His Spirit, live out His love, and not envy, boast, or be proud. His new work in us showed us that we don't have to become conceited, provoking, and envying each other. We all had to realize that if we kept trying on our own to get it all together, or thought we already had it all together, and don't have need of Him, then that's a big, loud, crashing problem. Because after all, the Bible says God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. The good news is, is that we've been crucified with Christ, and now He lives in us. So it goes without saying, we all can enjoy our humble pie. Any closing thoughts? Yes, for sure. If you don't know Jesus, you should really accept Him as the Lord of your life today. He's the one that makes everything so radastically awesome and so blessed. He's so awesome. And um, He makes you the apple of His pie. You mean I? Yes, that's what I meant. Any closing statements? Uh, yes, thank you so much for following our camp this year and for watching this special Camp New interview. Humphrey, give a thumbs up if we're doing it again next year. Just kidding. We're coming back next year and it's gonna be fantastic. Okay, I'm okay, no, it's all right Humphrey. No, Humphrey, I'm fine, I can walk by myself. No, it's fine, it's fine. <sighs> That was a pretty cool ending though, right? Yeah, <laughs> thanks guys. Anybody having pizza? Marshmallows? Pretty hungry around here. Haven't eaten this whole interview. Mm -hmm.